Hello friends, in this video we will be learning about these course and standardization. By learning about both these types, uh, these topics, we will, we will learn how to calculate exact proportion using the standard normal distribution. So let us start it. So what is a standard normal distribution? The standard normal distribution is a special type of normal distribution that has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of 1. Because of this, the standard normal distribution is always standard at 0 and has in, uh, intervals that increase by 1. Each number on the horizontal axis corresponds to a z-score. This, this score uh, measures how far an observation lies from its mean in units of standard deviation or it tells us how many standard deviation an observation is from the mean mu. Uh, for example, a z-score of minus 3, uh, negative 3 tells us that we have three, uh, 3 standard deviation to the left of the mean. And a z-score of 1.5 tells us that we are on, we are one and a half standard deviations to the right of the mean. Most importantly, a z-score allows us to calculate how much area that specific uh, this score is associated with and we can find or we can find out that exact area using z-score table. This table tells us uh, the total amount of uh, uh, amount of error uh, contained to the left side to the left side of any z value any of the value of z uh, for this table the top row top row and the first column corresponds to z uh, values and all the numbers in the middle correspond to areas uh, for example, according to the, uh, the table, a uh, z-score of minus uh, of negative one has area of has area of minus one has area of zero point one five eight six six to the left of it, or we can say that the proportion of Yes, uh, this less than uh, negative one is equal to 0 0.15866. We can also use the standard normal table to determine the area to the right to the right of any z values. We can also use standard normal to determine uh, the area to the right of any z values. All we have to do is to take one minus one minus the area that correspond to g value. According to this table, uh, the the z score uh, z score of one point five of one point five has an area of zero point zero point nine three three one nine. To the left of it, so one minus zero point one uh, zero point nine three three nine one nine gives us an area of uh, zero point zero six six eight one. You can also the z score table to the to do a reverse uh, lookup to see what that score is associated with a specific area. Uh, for example, if we want to know what value of z score corresponds to an area of uh, 0 0.8706, 0 uh, to the left of it, all we have to do is to find 0 0.87076 on the table and see what values is that is correspond to. As a result, we see that the area correspond uh, the area 0 0.87076 correspond to a z value of 
one okay so on point three yeah The special thing about the standard normal distribution is that any type of normal distribution can be transformed to it. Uh, to it, it means that uh, it means that any other normal distribution with any value of mu of mu and sigma can be transformed to the standard no uh, normal distribution where you have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. This conversion process is called standardization. The benefit of standardization is that it allows us to use a z-score table to calculate exact areas for any given normality distribution population with any value of mu and or sigma. We use this uh, we use this formula to convert normal distribution a uh, normal distribution convert normal distribution to standard normal distribution whereas h is the observation h is observation uh, mu is the population mean and sigma is the standard deviation for example our data follow the normal distribution with a mean of 20 with a mean of 20 and a standard deviation of 5 if we were to draw this normal distribution we could have 20 located 20 located at the center of the distribution because it is a value of the mean and each interval uh, would be increased by 5 since that is a value of the standard deviation to convert this distribution to the standard normal distribution, we will use the, norm, uh, the formula whereas mu, uh, mu is uh, 20 and sigma is 5. We can then take each, uh, each value of h and black, black uh, it into the equation. If h is 20, then we get a value of 0. If h is 15 then we get a value of negative 1 and it will be 1 if i is 25 if we do this for each value you can see that we end up with the same values at a standard normal distribution when doing this conversion process the mean of the process uh, of the normal distribution of the normal standard deviation will always correspond to a value of zero and the standard deviation will always correspond to one and this will happen with any normal distribution no matter what value of mu and sigma are now let's find the proportion of data that less than 14 that less than 14 after uh, plugging 14 into the table uh, into the formula we end up with a value of uh, negative 1.2 uh, and finally we can use this score table to determine how much area is is associated with this uh, this score With this dish car. According to the table, there's an area of 0 0.11507. This value is in fact the same proportion of individuals that data less than 14. Let's, uh, let's do more one more example. When measuring the dimension dimension of a circle. It was found that it was normal distribution with a mean of 5 and a standard deviation of 0.25. So what proportion of dimensions are between uh, 
5.33 and 5.585 mm. Before we solve this question, it's always a good habit to first write out important information. So we have a mu of 5 and a sigma of 0 0.25. We are also looking for the proportion of individuals between 5.33 and 5.585. This corresponds to this highlighted area. To determine this area, we need to standardize the distribution by using the standardization formula. With x is uh, 5.33, we find uh, this score of 1.32 and x is 2.34 when x is uh, 5.585. According to the standard normal table, the D score, the D score of 1.32, is 0. Point, uh, 0. Point 9, and the D score of 2.34. 2.34 is 2.34 is 0 0.99036. To find uh, to find the proportion of value between 1.32 and 2.34, we must subtract the num smaller uh, area from bigger area. So as a result. The proportion of dimension between 5.33 and 5.585 is 0 0.08378. Thank you for your listening.